In this Lynx Indexer review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this app. Lynx Indexer is a simple and powerful backlinks indexing tool. Upon logging in, we come over to the dashboard and we can see straight away it's got a complete overview. We can adjust this from 8 days to 30 days. It also has our daily links limit, notifications, and right at the bottom, a campaign section. At the very top, it also has our amount processing, our amount completed, and our amount removed. So under dashboard, we have campaigns. If we click onto that, here we can see at the moment we've not got any campaigns, but if we go on new campaign, we can follow this through. So here we have our campaign details. We can name our campaign. We can add a description for our campaign and we can set the amount of drip feed days. This is automatically set at immediately for us. Here at the bottom, we have the upload link section. You just enter your URLs one per line. Once you've obviously done that, if you click on upload campaign. So now that we've completed our campaign, we can see we've got there our two URLs. We've got zero ping, so at the moment the progress is set at zero and the status is idle. But if we start to get pings there, that would go up. If we just go back on the dashboard section, we can see on the overview now that this has changed. We've obviously got our uploads set to two because we uploaded two links and the pings is at zero because we've not had any pings yet. Below campaigns, we also have sitemap campaigns. If we just click on there, here, as we can see, we don't have anything there at the moment, but if we just go on new sitemap campaign, so a sitemap is a file where you provide information about the pages, videos, or other files on your site. So first, if you create a sitemap name, copy and paste your link, you then have the option to check sitemap daily for new links, and then you would just go ahead and click confirm there. If we wanted to upload a text file or a CSV file directly, if we just go on new campaign, set your campaign name, the description, drip feed, and then change this to change upload method. Here you can drag and drop your files. You can just drag and drop either a text file or a CSV file and it'll just upload that there. And then go on upload campaign and we can see that that showed up below our previous campaign. We can see on the dashboard now as well that our uploads have changed to 11. There's still obviously processing because so we've not had any pings, so we've got zero processing zero completed and zero removed. So obviously the main purpose of Batlink indexation is that the Batlink will be added to the search engines database. We do also have a couple more options. We have a billing section, a account section, and an FAQ, as well as right at the bottom, a support button where we can create a ticket if we had any problems. So what did I think of Link's indexer? Well. Overall, it made it really simple to create campaigns to index your backlinks. It was a little bit hard for me to show you its full potential because I didn't have any real backlinks, so we couldn't get any pings or anything. But nevertheless, it was a very straightforward setup, and I also really like the feature that you can drag and drop files. I would definitely recommend Links Indexer if you're looking to index your backlinks. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.